Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Noor Networks. In this session, we are going to configure threat prevention policy in checkpoint firewall. So guys, before we proceed with the configuration, let's have a brief overview. What is threat prevention in checkpoint firewall? Threat prevention is a technique which inspects traffic to and or from all objects specified in the protected scope even when the specified object did not open the connection. This is an important difference from the source object in firewall rules which define the object that opens a connection. So guys, let's understand what I have said now in the configuration perspective. And basically why the threat protection is required, let's understand that as well. The threat, the threat prevention in checkpoint challenges today's malware landscape. Checkpoint comprehensive threat prevention solution offers a multi-layered pre and post infection defense approach and a consolidated platform that enables enterprise security to detect and block modern malware. So now guys, in order to configure the threat prevention policy, uh, we will be going to the security policies tab over here from the left pane and as you all know that we have configured our policies in under access control these are our access controls policies but the threat prevention policy checkpoint gives you a different option to configure like in uh, many other firewalls this option is available within the policy like within the access control policy or a firewall rules you say in that itself you can define a threat prevention policy but over here you have a separate option to do so this is a custom policy and we will be creating the policy over here itself let's understand each and every term one by one in this policy over here the pre-configured policy the name is the name whatever you want to give to the policy then under protected scope, you will be defining the host object or a network you want to protect. You want to do the scanning uh, or you can say you want to do a threat prevention on this. Then comes the action. This is basically a profile which you will be creating. By default, you have three different profiles termed as optimized, strict and basic. The basic is the one which do a least filtering. The optimize is the middle option and the strict is the one which has the maximum prevention. We will understand that as well and we will be creating our own customized profile. Track is basically an option which you have seen in the access control policy as well, which means log. Over here you have some more option like packet captures and forensics you can enable. And where you want to install definitely it will be the default target which we have already defined which is checkpoint gateway and if you will take over here it is showing as well to you that it is checkpoint gateway so guys before we proceed with the policy configuration let's have a quick overview on the profiles and one more thing when i talk about the action over here whether it is strict basic optimized you will see this particular blades so these are anti-bots, antivirus, then threat emulation, threat extraction. And you can see this by taking the cursor on this option. It will give you that IPS is enabled on this profile. Which profile? This optimized profile. Then anti-bot is enabled, antivirus, threat emulation, threat extraction. So let's create our own customized profile rather than going with the optimized profile. So how you will create? Go to profile option over here. See that you have three pre-configured profiles, basic, optimized and strict. And I have explained you what are this and what is the differences, right? Even some more differences you will see in the basic only IPS is enabled, but antivirus, anti-boot, uh, threat emulation, threat extraction are not enabled. Whereas for optimized and strict, you will see all the options enabled, all the active blades are enabled. Let's create our own customized policy by going over here, click on new, give the name, let's give the name lab policy what all options you need threat emulation threat extraction ips anti boot antivirus you need all these things you have to be a bit careful when you are configuring the active protection the performance impact 
uh, see guys when you are configuring the threat prevention it is basically uh, real time scanning being done so over here there is a high possibility that due to this your performance will become low so you have to be careful and you don't have to uh, do go for the scanning for each and everything first thing second thing if you go for the strict filtering there is a possibility you may have a false positive results so that's the reason the best option is you should opt for the medium option that is the optimize is the best option so the performance impacts when you talk about better go with medium or lower and severity you can go with a medium or a lower or even higher or above it's better let's go with the medium or above apart from that activation mode high confidence prevent medium confidence prevent low confidence detect in, even in the medium confidence we'll say detect and low confidence uh, also detect then apart from that you have option to uh, configure your ips options anti-bot antivirus now you will see that in the general policy you have said that high confidence uh, is prevent medium confidence is detect low confidence is detect so what are the op uh, actions should be taken on this particular selection where on prevent detect and prevent or detect and even you have ask option and other options that you can define in respective uh, respective blades sorry respective blades so when you go to ips you can say activate ips protection according to the following additional parameter if you want to define any parameter of protection to activate uh, that way or you have an anti-boat option and this thing that user check setting prevent that anti-boat is blocked then you have an antivirus option over here threat emulation and similarly threat extraction so guys uh, this is how we will be creating the profile uh, so let's save this profile uh, what we have done we have uh, enabled the sandblast option that is threat emulation and threat extraction threat in under threat prevention we have enabled all the three blades ips anti boat and antivirus and we have defined the protection performance impact severity and the activation mode click on ok to save this profile So now let's move to the custom policy and guys over here we will be using the same pre-configured policy and we will define our own policy we will change this let's give the name as lab threat prevention policy uh, when we talk about protected scope what all you need to define under this scope to protect it so uh, let's say we will say for now i want the entire internal network as well as our dmz network then the action uh, the profile you have to define let's define our own profile over here just lab policy and you will see that it is saying that IPS, anti-boot, antivirus, all are enabled. Install on. As you can see, the it is showing you the policy target that is CP gateway. So once this is done, you will simply publish it and install to push the changes on the security gateway. So guys our policy is installed successfully and this is how you will be configuring your threat prevention policy as per your infrastructure requirement definitely you will be doing the changes in the profiles and all as per your requirement so that's all guys in this tutorial thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet please subscribe it now and do share with your friends see you in the next tutorial